What should your Google Ads budget be? This is a question I've been getting a lot from you guys over my past seven years here with affiliate marketing and Google Ads, and I thought it's time for me to answer. Even though there is no one-size-fits-all answer, what I'm going to do in this video is give you the three guidelines to help you decide the right budget for your business. And make sure you guys stay through to the end of the video because I will be sharing some tips and golden nuggets of information throughout the video that you don't want to miss. So stay tuned and let's get straight into it. So when setting a budget, the first thing you guys want to do is set a budget at the monthly level, not at the daily level. And that's because Google Ads respects your monthly budget, not your daily budget. So if your daily budget is $20, 20 times 30, that's 600. So your monthly budget is 600. So Google won't exceed the $600 per month. However, they could exceed your daily budget. Now that said, what are the three factors to help you determine your budget? Well, the first is the niche and the competition. What sort of keywords are you guys targeting? Are you a lawyer? Are you gonna be targeting lawyer related keywords? Or are you in the weight loss niche or make money online niche or learn how to play guitar? So the way you can figure out how much on average people pay for those keywords in your niche is using the Google Ads Keyword Planner. So if you click on tools and settings, Click on Keyword Planner. You will be able to type in whatever keywords you want and you will see on average how much advertisers have paid over the past few months or so for these keywords. So click on Discover New Keywords, select your location, let's say Canada and America. We're gonna click Save. And let's suppose we're gonna start off with a weight loss meal plan. Let's say weight loss meal plan. Let's suppose that's what you're selling, a weight loss meal plan. So how much can you expect to spend per click and therefore what should your budget be? Let's take a look. So for the most relevant keywords, weight loss meal plan, on average, advertisers have paid anywhere from $2 to $15 on average, okay? Now, this doesn't mean that that's exactly how much you're gonna pay. You could pay less than this. You could pay a dollar, you could pay 50 cents, you could pay $20, okay? This is just the average just to give you an idea. So for this, right, looking at this right off the bat, depending on your goals, which again, we'll, we'll cover in a bit, you want your budget to accommodate however many clicks you want. Over here, you have cheaper clicks, go low diet plan. I don't know what that is, but it ranges from 50 cents to $3, okay? It's a little cheaper. Now, the other thing you have to keep in mind is the competition because the higher the competition normally, the higher the cost as well. So if we sort by competition here by high, you can see here the average values are now much higher. So now the range is anywhere from $3 to about 10 to about 15, right? So it's much higher. So another thing for you guys to keep in mind is that if the competition for your keywords are high, you can expect to pay a little bit more because there are many more advertisers out there that are bidding for the same keywords you are. So you'd want to adjust the budget, make it a little bit higher as well. So this with this, you could set in your mind, you could say, okay, the budget for me could be $100 per day. So $3,000 per month should be enough to get good results for this, uh, for these keywords. Now, in comparison with different keywords, let's suppose you are a lawyer, okay? So you're gonna type in, let's say lawyer near me. You're gonna say get results. Let's, let's compare just to show you exactly what I mean. Take a look at this. So if we sort by relevance again, the average keywords here are anywhere from $5 to 37, right? So now $100 a day budget all of a sudden isn't quite enough, depending on your keywords. And like, if you want three clicks per day, sure, you can do $100, but even then you'll be pushing it, right? Now, if we sort by competition here, if we look at the highest competition keywords, look at this, you can pay up to three, uh, up to 300, let's say th here, 332, or here, $470 per click, guys. Crash lawyers near me. So people have paid to be at the top of the page bid, the high range, almost $500 per click. So is a $100 budget per day realistic for something like this? Probably not. On the lower end, you might get one click, right? Here, one click. And that basically shows you that for these types of keywords, right, for this niche, $100 per day or $3,000 a month probably isn't enough for your budget. So if you're a lawyer, you can expect to set your budget much, much, much higher, maybe several thousand dollars a day. So tens of thousands of dollars a month, right? This is one of the factors for you to consider when setting your budget. Now, what's the other factor? The, the second factor is your goals. How many clicks, how many sales do you want to get? Or if you're tracking 
uh, signups. How many signups do you want, right? So we're going to pull up our notepad over here and let's take a look. So let's suppose on average, every sale you make, one sale equals $100. Let's suppose, okay? And let's suppose your goal is to make 20 sales this month with Google Advertising. So this is where you're going to have to do a little bit of planning and figure out what is your goal. Let's say it's 20 sales per month. Let's say you also don't want to pay more than $50 per sale. That's your goal. $50 per sale maximum cost, right? So that means that you want to make $2,000 in sales this month and you don't want to spend more than $1,000 in costs. So your budget in this case could be $1,000. And this is where these factors come together and you're going to look back and compare. Look at the niche. Is $1,000 of a budget in a month viable, right? Is it, is, is it realistic based on your niche? So that's how you would do the math to figure out what your budget would be based on your goals. Now, the third factor that helps you determine your budget is obviously how much can you afford? Can you afford $1,000 per month? Pretty obvious, right? Uh, but this is one of the things that I always tell you guys, if you're doing online marketing, don't depend on it like that's your last resort. Don't do that. Have a job, full-time, part-time job, be able to sustain yourself while you're doing this, right? So if you're a business, make sure you guys are making some money first before you invest in Google Ads. If you have nothing, don't invest your last dollar into Google Ads because if it if it doesn't pay off, you're screwed. And Google Ads take, takes a lot of testing. There's going to be a lot of testing, experimentation, digging through the dirt to figure out the best keywords. So definitely don't invest your last dollar into this. So how much can you realistically afford without breaking your back? So these are the three factors that you guys are going to compare and uh, look at all together. Okay, how much can you afford? How much on average are people paying per click in your niche and how much your budget should be? And what are your goals? These are the three factors that should help you determine what your budget should be. So I hope this was helpful for you guys to give you an idea for how to properly set an effective Google Ads budget for your business. If you guys enjoyed this content, I do invite you to check out my website at ivanmana.com where I have a lot of free resources as well as training courses, including the Google Ads Mastery and Retargeting course to help you master these paid ad networks and the Affiliate Marketing Mastery course to help you guys make money online. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.